In this video, we are going to see classic pastry variations made using one croissant dough. Let's begin with pound of raisin. To fill the pound of raisin, we need soaked fruits, which ideally need to be done a day before. We simply whip up raisins, sultanas, black currants, and pour over hot water. Let them soak and drain the water. Another crucial component for this pastry is creme patisserie. Creme pat is done every day in the morning, and by the time we do pound of raisin, the creme pat is cooled down. There are two ways of doing creme pats. We either do it in thermomix or by hand. Once we prepare all ingredients and tools we need, we sheet down the pastry using our pastry breaks. While the dough is still cold, we roll it to reach the exact width, then turn and continue rolling. For each pastry, we do slightly different width. For this one, we don't want to roll as wide as for croissant or pain chocolat. We transfer our dough from the breaks to the clean work table and relax the stretched dough sheet. We trim the ends as well as the horizontal side of the dough. Then we flatten one side of the dough, so in the end it's easy to stick everything in one long log. We spread creme pat all over the pastry sheet and distribute evenly. Then we sprinkle dried fruits and, as nicely as possible, roll the dough into a tight swirl. When we roll the pound of raisin in one long log, we want to make sure we don't leave any air pockets. Otherwise, the big pastries don't look uniform. We slice the whole log in four parts and separate them using parchment paper. Always writing the date on it and, one final thing, putting them in the freezer for tomorrow's use. Next day, we cut required amount of swirls and always check each slice's weight if it is within the range. Later, these pastries are being proofed, baked and glazed. When I cut pound of chocolate, I like to fold the whole sheet of dough in half, so I have more space to lay and cut the pastry, and feels like the whole cutting process is faster. As always, trimming the ends of the sheet horizontally and vertically, dividing the dough into three parts, and start cutting. We weight each slice and rolling straight away. The rolling process is really fast. We put two chocolate buttons per pastry and rolling this way. Placing 15 pastries on the trays and keeping cold for now. Later pastries are being proofed, brushed with egg wash and finally baked. Let's have a look how they look inside. We also make hazelnut pound chocolate where we fill them with hazelnut cream and drizzle with chocolate and finally top with roasted hazelnuts. We lay the dough on a clean workbench, fold it in half horizontally and trim the ends. Then we cut dough along the opposite side and after that simply cut the triangles for the croissants. We're rolling croissants really fast as we want to keep them as cold as possible. After we finish with the shaping, we lay 12 croissants per tray and leave them in the prover, which will start proving on a set time. 
When you get into the rolling mode, you don't even realize how fast you rolled hundreds of croissants. Then, the same like with the pound chocolat, we brush them with egg wash and bake them. The good portion of croissants we leave for almond croissants, which are filled with almond cream and topped with flaked almonds. This pastry is probably the easiest one, as we cut the laminated dough sheet in quadrants using pastry wheels. There are many ways to assemble Danish pastry. Today we simply fold the square corners in the middle and later it will be filled with creme pat and topped with berries. Every week we make different flavors, including savory pastry as well. Those are the few classic pastries made of croissant dough. I think it's amazing to see how you can come up with a completely different result using just one laminated dough. Thank you for watching and see you next week.